In the name of Allah, the most merciful and most gracious. Smart Pakistan Facility Solutions proudly continues its inspiring academic series of expert-led discussions on modern facility and physical asset management systems. Building on the foundation set in part 1, this session focuses on practical applications, current challenges and future opportunities of facility management in Pakistan. The aim is to further enhance awareness and guide professionals towards smarter, safer and more sustainable working and living environments. Conceived, prepared and presented by Muhammad Ghas Zilani, professional engineering technologist backed by four decades of multidisciplinary expertise in facility and engineering asset management, he delivers actionable insights and strategic solutions to support the evolution of fm practices across pakistan assalam alaikum i am mohammad ghazilani and welcome back to our series of discussion about facility and physical assets management poor facility management costs pakistan money safety and even lives or disabilities as discussed in part 1 of it Uh, Pakistan's major challenges are economical hurdles and low awareness about facility management. In this part 2, we uncover practices, challenges and opportunities in Pakistan for the facility management. So, let's start. Important to mention is that the facility management structure for each type of facility is the same the difference is in its infrastructure and type of services and physical assets by addressing these issues pakistan can work towards creating a safer and healthier industrial environment for its workers internal and external customers future incidents can be prevented further the sustainable industrial growth can be promoted which will result in a better environment in general as we know the facility management sector in pakistan is on the rise and mostly driven by the real estate healthcare and education sectors etc adoption of technology is also on the way but is still in early stages with major activities in karachi lahore and islamabad this area needs to be broadened and the facility management outsourcing trend is also observed in large institutions hospitals and industries therefore keys to faster growth are as we discussed the requirement of stronger regulations standardized practices better vocational training programs as institution levels and community level so by the support to the facility management that can be a major contributor to safer more efficient workplaces and facilities across pakistan so let's support the facility management implementation in view of discussion about facility management in pakistan till this point there is a big room for improvement and skilled human resource is one of the important requirements in growing infrastructures and these are real estate commercial or residential industrial parks healthcare facilities educational institutions are the example of expanding projects but these well built infrastructure without proper maintenance more inclines towards the deterioration leading to service failures users discomfort ultimately converted into safety risk and finally the repair cost become high so without trained facility managers these assets become liabilities like this poorly maintained healthcare facility deteriorated equipment this electrical cabinet is a fire hazard or safety risk paint plastic boiler then a fire incident in a departmental store in karachi so these are examples of the 
financial losses but the horrible part of this incident is a man died while six other including three firemen fainted as i know this young chap was came for the job interview and after few hours his family received his dead body how terrible these incidents are we must try to prevent these sort of incidents through proper facility management implementation and technology adoption here some more examples of huge gaps in public facilities like schools healthcare centers municipal buildings often suffer from poor maintenance leaking roofs malfunction equipment lack of power backup and sanitation issues studies show many schools are without basic wash infrastructure while healthcare facilities lack operational hvac elevators failure clean water and reliable electricity an unreliable electricity is the main contributor in all these gaps if we look around us find two faces of infrastructure poorly maintained and well maintained and it is almost in every sector of life here are a few examples only unfortunately poorly maintained infrastructure is dominating in our surroundings and the root causes are weak regulatory frameworks and low level awareness to the public about professional facility management and its benefits as we know and discussed the market for the fm sector is growing in commercial centers industrial zones and healthcare facilities etc but the workforce is not ready to cope up this growth and critical shortage of trained personnel like facility managers maintenance supervisors technicians of different trades and custodial team leads to overcome this gap training in preventive maintenance basic facility management systems and understanding of the budgeting is essential even for junior staff and technicians therefore the process of education training and skill upgrading programs can close this gap and boost employability at both institutions and community levels from top to bottom education of facility management as a subject in technical colleges universities and other institutes will also be helpful and will build tomorrow's professionals in many parts of the world it is provided this part of discussion is concluded Next discussion is linkage between operation and maintenance of facility and physical assets. Thank you for being with us. A social media, website, WhatsApp and call, email with other platforms. Please visit us for more details.